Hey guys, and welcome back to Alone in the Dark. Let's go. So, uh, when we last left off, we managed to save uh, Elaine. And I don't know whether you're supposed to say Eli uh, Elaine or Elaine. I'm not sure. I'm not sure the exact pronunciation. I suppose it's like uh, with Americans where most of them say Laura Croft instead of Lara Croft. It's one of them dealios. So, yeah, Elaine, we saved her and she seems to uh well be somewhat grateful about it she is a little bit on the grumpy side uh the door is locked yes we have been encountering many locked doors <laughs> right uh well then uh we've got a statue head which we don't really know where we can use we did find a... Yeah, I don't think there's anything in here. We did find a... Um, oh! Yeah, we've already done that. I think. Yeah, yeah, we have. A puzzle that we can do in the HR room, but... I'm pretty sure we don't have the pieces for that. There's got to be, like, another piece to it. We're supposed to be um, finding the way to the library. But I uh, can't really remember how to get to the library, or at least the ways that I remember to get to the library seem to be uh, sealed up. Oh! Surely an explorer. He's carrying objects, bandolier style. Uh, in the background is a ship caught in the ice. There seems to be a locking mechanism. There's a metallic plate, but it's blank. Okay. Uh, what's this one? His fixed gaze then shivers down the spine. On the table is a map of the island, and behind him is a strange statue. Seems to be a locking mechanism. Uh, okay, so we need to find some metallic plates, I guess. Can we go this way? No. Ah. Uh... Right, well, I guess maybe we're not going upstairs then. There obviously has to be something that we haven't done downstairs. Uh, and we can move this as well, but I don't really know what that does, if anything. It's a bit strange. Um, okay, let's have a little look. Hmm. So we can't go out the front door. Yeah, that's the HR room there. So that's the one with the puzzle. Uh, and of course, upstairs. So there's obviously something in a room somewhere that we miss, which, so, you know, sounds about right, I guess. So that door is sealed up. Um, which means, as far as I can remember, we can't go through it. But that one is just straight up locked. Okay. Uh, oh, there's more. Maybe a scientist. He's carrying a curious object. Looks like an astronomical uh, telescope. Uh... Okay, so it looks like we're going to need about four of these plates. Right. Sure thing. Can we move this again? And that obviously needs a plate. Now, we do have uh, the wolf mask, but there's no plates or anything attached to that, so I'm not 100% sure where we're supposed to be using that bad boy. But that's fine. You know, you know, we will uh, endeavor to explore. We've still got this thing, like, I have honestly no idea what to do with that thing. I'm guessing we can't go back th Oh! HM is in the mirror. Does that do something in the HM room? By moving that. 
Let's have a look, shall we? Now, uh, we cleared this area out pretty thoroughly. At least I hope we did. Uh, we got zombies in here. Get the fuck out of here, dude. I mean, there's a few of them. Still more. But wait, there's more. Uh, fuck those guys. Right, HM. So, does that trigger something in the HM room then? Not seeing anything obvious. Uh, that this is where we found the statue, which was bloody massive, by the way. Uh, no. This is a display cabinet with a ship model and some kind of balance. It's fine, but we don't have anything that we can put in there. Wow, we're down to 20, well, 33 shotgun shells. Not impressed. Oh, can we... Ah... Okay. We had the item all along. Son of a bitch. Right, well, I mean, cool, I guess. Progress is progress. Oh, no. Do these guys always... Yeah, these guys, I guess, always respawn. Just a massive waste of ammo, so... Um, right. Uh, okay. So now I'm guessing we can fiddle around with the puzzle up here. Might actually... Switch back up to that because we're seriously low on um, shotgun shells. I don't like the way some corridors just constantly repopulate with enemies. I don't mind enemies like respawning um, after X amount of time. That kind of makes sense. Do you want to activate the portraits mechanism? Yes. Oh. Okay. Got ya. So. I guess we have to do X amount of um, puzzles then. Right. Well, that's fine. Progress is progress. Gilded key. I guess it's not going to... Oh. Engraved ground floor east, I'm guessing. Okay. Oh. Well, ground floor. I don't know what east would be here, but how many locked doors can there be? Uh, I'm guessing it's that one. Yeah, north, uh, southwest east. Yeah. Cool. Right. So that's over here, I think. Is it? Yes. Or. Ooh. Nope, we went the wrong east, guys. There was two Easts to choose from, and we went wrong. God damn it, Edward. Making me look like a fool. Oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, so when that statue's there... I mean, I... Guess I can't actually use, uh, move it anymore. Okay, fine. So, ground floor east. How do we? Right, second floor. Uh, okay. Door is locked. I mean, it's not going to be this one, is it? So it's got to be one of the ones on the second floor. So I guess that's not. That doesn't mean ground floor east. Maybe? Question mark? I don't know. Because that would be east, right? Right. 
Apparently I can't. There we go. So, no, that door's sealed up. Door's locked. Is it this one? No. Is it for a door that's locked here? Sealed. That one is not sealed. Um, ah, oh, shit. Yeah, one second, guys. My control pad apparently is dead. And we're back, guys. Okay, so I've been running around just a little bit off camera. Uh, and by running around off camera, I mean I've literally just, <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> uh, come downstairs. Obviously, I've noticed there are some locked doors. This one is not so locked. So, <laughs> fuck that noise. That's as. Ooh, Steam has just in informed me that Resident Evil The Village has finished downloading. Holy shit. Right. Okay then. Uh, I actually cannot freaking wait because I've barely even seen anything of that game. Uh, are you serious? Like, one of you has to be... Can't be used here. Are you for real? Locked. I... Man, talk about being obscure. Surely. <sighs> okay, um, let's go into the zombie room then, I guess. Now, we know that this handgun is basically useless against these things, but I want to at least try and kill them. I don't know if we actually can kill them with this handgun. I'm not sure. But this handgun is so unbelievably useless. Like, I don't really feel bad in using it up. Because it genuinely is that awful. It also feels like we're getting a lot more zombies. As Edward. Which... Makes sense, does it? I mean, it seems like Edward is much more of an action oriented character. <sighs> right. Ah. No, it's not that one. This is the room with the water. Okay. So, this one? Right. By process of elimination, there we go. I was going to say, it has to be one of these doors. Oh, you little fucking shitbag. Oh, I'm not buying what you're selling me. Great, great. So it doesn't always stun him. Yeah. Yeah, that handgun is absolutely trash. Okay, well, that's fine. Now, ooh. oh, another key. <laughs> okay, cool. Just what we wanted, question mark? Right. Yeah, we can turn the light off, but we don't obviously want to do that. Um... Nothing in there. Nope. Damn, we're kind of really getting quite low on ammo. We must be. Yes. Yeah, we only have 10 rounds for the handgun, which is uh, absolutely useless. <laughs> right. Well, let's keep going. Oh. Well, you know, maybe not as well. Uh, so 
Oh. Where was that? That was like here on the floor. Uh, okay. There's stuff in these pots. I mean, that's obviously a door. Oh god, these fucking zombies come back. Um. Alright, so I guess. Statue of an owl. Can we put that. Right, we've got a lot of shotgun shells now. So I'm guessing. Ah. Right. Steel key. Yeah, I'm guessing um, there, there are items that are, that don't actually um, get illuminated then. I guess. So, we've got two more keys, which is good. I don't think we've ever had two keys before. Uh, first floor east. And ground floor west. Alright, cool. Now, is it worth fighting these zombies? I'm going to say probably not. Should we just like push past them? I can't believe there was just like two boxes of shotgun shells in that pot. I mean, cool, I guess, but... All right. Okay, let's just cut through there. So this takes us, yeah, so this will take us straight out. And cut out that hallway completely. Because, oh, I kind of want to search everywhere now. Because, you know, especially pots. I actually believe that was there. And I'm not drinking Monster now or coffee. I have a Dr. Pepper. And, um, yeah. Not really a big fan of fizzy drinks, to be honest. Okay. I mean, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, I really want to search everywhere. I wonder if... Ah, oh, there's a chest there. I know that one. I wonder if... There's nothing in the chest. If we missed items then with uh, Elaine. I'm going to say we probably did. Alright, this should take us... Oh. Ooh. We've got those. Ah, oh, it's those things. Like, do we want to fight them? Is there any point in fighting these things? Probably not. We are just going to go upstairs. Get the f fuck out of my face, guys. Seriously. Kiss my ass. Don't like the fact enemies can follow us up the stairs. <laughs> do not like that at all. Door is locked. Okay. I do not like that. Nope. Nope. Cool. That's lovely. Sealed up. Sealed up. Um. Shit. Well, we don't have the keys for those ones. That's fine, game. Be like that. See if I care. Uh, right. There were two doors. Wait. Now, I think it was that one. Yeah, locked. One of these doors. No, of course not. Why would it be? Uh, one of these doors leads to the library. At least I think it did. What about up here? Was this door? Yeah, this door was locked, wasn't it? This was a ground floor door, technically. Yeah, door's locked. I think, yes. Nice. Okay. Aline? Ooh. Yeah. I just don't understand what part Obed Morton's playing in all this business. My feeling is that it's his brother who holds all the answers. His brother? Alan. Obed's twin brother. Hmm. So that's it. It seems as though Alan Morton is... <sighs> How can I put it? Diabolic. <laughs> yeah, that's the term that fits him best. I found out he killed his own father, Howard, and used him as a subject for his experiments. He's a monster. Aline, you're holding something back. I believe, I think that Alan Morton, like 
like some sort of Dr. Moreau. Genetic manipulation of some kind, but not on animals. On creatures of darkness. Oh, that would explain... Aline, we've got to stop him. Carnby, I'm way out of my element here. And I'd be a liar if I told you I've got it under control. Just keep your chin up. I like the way the dialogue seems different. Like, they seem to have, um... Different communications, I think. Unless I've just forgotten. Which is definitely possible. Alright, that door's sealed up. That's the one we came in. Ooh! That guy actually made me jump. Uh, this room was quite significant. I mean, it, oh. At least it was for Eileen. Elaine. You know what I mean? We we picked up a medical kit there. But there's also safe talisman. See it. I just don't know there it is. Why can't we pick it up though? Really? Okay, so we just have to be on that side. Right, we've got some shotgun shells. Ooh, what the f fuck is that? Um, is that a, a boss? Let's smoke one of these. Is that a fucking boss? Right, we've saved it now anyway, so, uh, okay. Ooh. Uh, holy shit. Oof. Glad that's not my bed. Tentacles up my ass isn't exactly uh, my thing. Um, right. Well, can't be definitely... Ooh, nice. Can't be definitely arrived after I lean because that bed wasn't uh, burnt with her. Three boxes of shotgun shells. Really? And there's the rocket launcher. Got 204. Alright, let's just switch over to the shotgun. Yeah, the thing I hate about the shotgun as well is the fact that you've constantly got to reload it off camera. It's just, that's so irritating. I guess we can't do anything with this. Nope. Okay, I mean, you know, grenade launcher and, well, the rocket launcher, I should say, and uh, arse ton of ammo. Yeah, happy with that. Door is sealed up, which means you can't go through. Cool. All right, let's keep going. Ooh, hello. Stop doing weird things to my face. Yeah, the shotgun, it doesn't... Um, push them back either which is concerning right let's eat some med kits because that's probably what the doctor ordered now this was the library if I remember correctly nope I was wrong again libraries further down here yes this is the room that had blood underneath it I think but that's sealed Okay. Keep going. Ooh. Empty cabinet. Ooh. We don't want empty cabinets. We want cabinets full of rocket launchers and grenade launchers and flamethrowers. Ugh. Locked. Uh. Oh. Okay. That's fine. That works. Right, we should be able to kill that by turning the light on. Excellent. Excellent. Another save medallion. Oh, it's a key and a charm of saving. Okay, those save medallions are everywhere. Half a photograph with a code on it. Richard Morton, you don't know me. And as long as you don't know me, your path will be strewn with pitfalls and perils. My name is Judas De Certo. Even if you may not know me, I know all about you. I know about your sleepless nights, the evenings you spend huddled, cold and alone. I know about your fear of the day, 
and about the terrible loneliness you feel faced with the unknown, face to face with something words can't describe. In the course of a life that has been too, too long, I have encountered the creatures of the night. I can help you overcome them, master them, and make them your slaves, your servants. You will find supreme power, the power of the absolute that knows no bounds for all eternity. You will find that wielding it brings intense pleasure. My name is Judas DiCerto, and already you are getting to know me better. Oh. Okay, that's weird. Dude's kind of a creeper. Yeah, we know all that stuff. Yeah, he's kind of a creepy mofo. So we've got another key. Where does this key lead? That's a large ornate key. Ah, ground floor F library. Just what we wanted. Lovely. Any goodies for me? Anything else? No tactical nuclear weapons tucked away for us? No? No? Okay. Fine. Be like that game. Okay, so we've been all the way down here. Uh, I feel like we are making progress. I also don't think we're getting as stuck as much as we did with... Uh, uh, that was still up. As we did when we were playing Eileen's story. Uh, oh. We've been in these rooms? I'm not sure. Oh! Fucking hell. They literally... I tell you what, this game has made me jump uh, more than any other game has. Just the way the enemies literally appear out of nowhere. First aid kit. Gun rack, empty. God damn it. So the gun rack is... Ooh! Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool, those creatures in the night that are just like there in ether. But weren't the zombies created by him, though? Weren't they like something to do with him? So why would they be there? I could understand it if it was other monsters and things. Maybe I'm, you know, thinking too much about it, which is, you know, par for the course for me. Okay, right. Now, we've read that. I think. Oh no, this does seem different. The human shadow fusion has become a reality. All these years of grouping my way along. How many false leads have I followed? How many detours? But today, Today the truth is standing before my very eyes. Oh, father, your veins run once again with life. Father, you are my firstborn son. The cells of the creatures of darkness do not contain, properly speaking, DNA. Rather, a crystalline structure with surprising photosensitive properties is present. It is as though the creatures didn't reproduce, or rather as if they multiplied after the, ma uh, after the manner of bacteria. I don't yet understand the factors which trigger this multiplication, but it is obvious that once I manage to pass behind the gates, I will know definitely more. The fusion is based on a principle of surprising simplicity, for which I haven't yet mastered all of the elements. It is necessary to first extract a few milligrams of the crystalline structure. The most effective being those clusters around the centre of what you could pass for a skull. The creatures have neither skeleton nor flesh, nor properly speaking blood. They are closer in structure to the mineral than the animal. One could say as though a, uh, a mineral. It is as though a mineral attempted to imitate the evolution of the living. Once extracted, the crystalline structures are injected directly into the vascular system of a dead or living human. I am persuaded that I can perfect the procedure. Mixing the crystalline structures of different creatures, I obtained a more stable result. I can't deny that reading the, li reading the lines I have just written 
I have the impression of holding a treaty on medieval medicine in my hand. It is nonetheless the truth. The fruits of my labor. The world of darkness is revealing its secrets to me. From now on, I will need more bodies. I'm going to multiply the experiments. Obed will provide the supply. His friends on the continent seem to have even less scruples than me. Yeah, I think we have read that, actually. Okay. Door is locked. Uh... Okay. Alright. So I guess we can find some kind of key to open that then. Hmm. Yeah, so have you noticed it's always, you know, the. Because you've got the light and the dark, and I'm guessing humans are um, light creatures, I suppose, or dogs and cats and guinea pigs and squirrels and things, light creatures. I don't really know. Um, as a you know, as opposed to their dark counterparts. So what would happen if you inject cells from them into one of the dark creatures? Does it not work that way? Because otherwise it seems kind of one-sided <laughs> that the dark stuff does all the weird shit to the light stuff. But it doesn't work the other way around. Having said that, I suppose on the light side you have, you know, light, which is damaging. Whereas in the other place, you have darkness, which isn't on its own damaging to light creatures. Hmm. Overthinking it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this one here. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, uh, we're going to try and find out what this key does and uh, see if we can meet up with Elaine. Uh, Elaine? 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 Why can't I say her name? I'm, oh, man, I'm coming down with a... Case of the stupids. I know what it is. I'm shaking because uh, I can't wait to play Resident Evil Village. That's what it is. I've got Resident Evil Village on my brain. So, anyway, guys, till next time.